Hi, it's Tess Adam here today with a empties video. I haven't done one of these in a while. I have a whole basket full of stuff. It is overflowing. So there might be some things that are repeats in here, but I'm just going to get into it. The first thing I have is the vitamins I take that I order from Vitacost. They're the Nature's Way Alive Multi Adult Gummy Vitamins. I love these vitamins. They're gluten-free, um, gelatin-free, and they're sweetened with organic tapioca, and they're made with pectin. Um, they have all the main vitamin ingredients. I don't know if I'll be able to bring that in, but... So, I really like these. I get those at Vitacost. Next, I have a Bath & Body Works Winter Cranberry um, Foaming Hand Wash that I just finished up. Love any of the soaps from Bath & Body Works. Then I have the Neutrogena Naturals Fresh Cleansing Makeup Remover. I will buy this again and again. I actually have repurchased it. The new one, my pump doesn't work. This one's all gross. But I need to set this inside and save it because I'm going to switch pumps because that one does work. Um, Aveeno Face Cleansing Cloths. There might be more than one of these in this basket. There's two. Let me see if I can dig out any more. Here's three. I see three. <laughs> so if that goes to show you how many of these I use, they look like this. These are the Ultra Calming. I have three of them. My favorite face wipes. They are a little more expensive. You only get 25 in a pack, but they do not sting my eyes, so I love, love, love those. Um, a toothbrush. I have the Oral-B 3D White Vivid toothbrush, which is really nice. Um, I get the soft because if not, it hurts my gums. I have the Schick 3 Extreme 3 Sensitive Razors. I hate these razors. I had a coupon, but I don't like them. Yes, I'll buy them again if I have a coupon because razors are expensive, but I don't like them. These are the cotton rounds. Not cotton rounds. Jumbo size cotton balls. These were from Walmart. They were the 400 count. It was this humongous bag of cotton balls. Um, I finished them up. I didn't repurchase any cotton balls this time because I'm really into the cotton rounds right now and I didn't feel like I needed any balls of cotton. The Chic Quattro um, razors, I really love these ones and the Venus ones. So these are better than the Extreme 3. I don't know why, they're just a little better. I still like the Venus best though. Next I have a um, hand soap from Simple Pleasures. This was strawberry sugar. I don't know where I got this. I think I want it as a gift at like a baby shower or a bridal shower. This was horrible. It didn't even make any foam. It was like washing your hands with water. So I don't know where that's from, but it was horrible. Next, I'm throwing this out. This was the EOS Shave Cream. I hate this stuff. People really, really like this and it's awful. I used it down to here, and I just couldn't use it anymore. It was like shaving your legs with... People like to shave their legs with conditioner. No. No, no, no. Won't buy that again. Then I have the Degree Deodorant in Classic Romance. Degree Clinical Strength Deodorant is my favorite deodorant, so I used one of those up. I used up the Crest Pro Health... Um, Whitening toothpaste, and I'm using the Crest gum protection right now. So any of the Pro Health ones I really like. Then I used a Dial Cherry Blossom and Almond hand soap. This one was in my bathroom, and I used it to clean my glasses. I don't know why, but it worked really well cleaning my glasses, so I liked that. Um... The Yardley Oatmeal and Almond Soap. I use this to clean my makeup brushes and sometimes my body. Um, I get this at Dollar Tree. I really like it. So I got that finished up. I have five mascaras. Holy moly. I used up the Rite Aid Renewal Cotton Rounds. Um, they were okay. Not great. Won't buy them again. Then I have the Old Fashioned Family Christmas Fried Pussycat uh, Whipped Soap that I got from Fortune Cookie Soap. The set was okay. I wasn't really into the whipped soap. It was hard to use. 
so I won't be purchasing that. That came in my soapbox that I get every quarter. I finished the Sea Booth Honey Almond Body Butter. It was okay. Um, see, I used it all up. It smells good. I won't repurchase it, though. I mean, it was nice, but it wasn't my favorite. I just wanted to try it. I finished the 100% Pure Vanilla Bean Nourishing Body Cream. I love the 100% Pure line. Their eye cream is phenomenal. The body um, creams are phenomenal. Love, love, love that. Will repurchase. I repurchased the Honey and Almond one this time because I am a big fan of the almond scent in general. And now all the mascaras. The first mascara is from Maybelline. It's the Full and Soft. I picked this up because somebody on YouTube was raving about it, and I should have left it at the store. It did absolutely nothing for my lashes. And typically, this is my kind of brush, but I just didn't. And I don't know why. It just didn't do anything, so that's going. I'm getting rid of this Full Lash Blue Mascara. It made my eyes itch so bad. It's by CoverGirl. Something in it is causing me to have an allergic reaction. So, it's gone. I just can't have that. Um, it's a great mascara. You can try it. I'm sure it'll work for you. My eyes are just super sensitive. I finished a CoverGirl Clump Crusher mascara. <laughs> you can see this is all beat up. It's completely gone. This is one of my favorite mascaras. It's a great layering mascara. Here's my new tube. Um, it's one that I always keep on hand because it's great if you get a little heavy-handed with your mascara and you need to, like, unclump something. This is great. I mean, you can wear it by itself, but I just rely on this for an unclumper for my lashes. This is the L'Oreal Telescopic Shocking Extensions Mascara. It's hard to read because I like this mascara a whole heck of a lot, except it's really hard to get off. But it's very unique brush I'm trying to get it to focus but it doesn't want to there we go it's like flat and then wide you can see that um this is just empty so i like that i would repurchase that again but not right now i have a lot of mascaras going on so no um the nyc city proof buildable mascara this was okay i like this Guy Rise Mascara Better from NYC. The brush is odd, but not a bad mascara for as cheap as it is. They're probably like three bucks. And finally, I finished my sample of the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. Best mascara I've ever used next to the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I like these. Probably the exact same amount. Um... If somebody asked me what my favorite mascaras were ever, I would say the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, the Urban Decay Perversion, the um, CoverGirl Clump Crusher, and the Jordana Best Lash Extreme, which is still in its packaging. I'm not opening this until I use up some of these other mascaras. And the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black. Those are probably my favorite mascaras. Um, oh, I also like the L'Oreal Lash Out Butterfly, too. So, two high-end, the rest are drugstore. Those are probably my favorite mascaras ever. All right, that is all my empties. I always try to do empties on trash day so I can get rid of all this junk. Oh, 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 I have one more. I have one more. I'm getting rid of this because... The two colors in it are almost empty. They're getting really hard to get out. It's a very inexpensive palette. So I have another one and then a full one. So I'll show you what this is. This is the um, Wet n' Wild Walking on Eggshells. As you can see, I have hit pan on these two. And there's hardly anything in there. It's really hard to get my brush in. Um, this one is, still has color in it. But for as inexpensive as the palette is, it's really a pain to get out one palette, then use this one. So I'm just getting rid of this palette. It's not really a palette, is it? Trio. Whatever. I have this one going, too, and it's going to be in the same boat pretty soon. 
Um, I set this out on my jewelry, jewelry, what am I saying? I set this out on my vanity, so I remember to use it. I'm going to try to get that used up. And I have this one going too. This is the silent treatment. These aren't empties, but they're getting there. Um, can you tell what color I love in that palette? <laughs> so these are set out to work on. Those will be empty soon, probably in my next video. All right. Thanks for watching. I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.